NASA has published this stunning new image from the James Webb Telescope to mark one year since it started sending us images from deep space. It shows a small star-forming region in a complex of interstellar clouds closest to our solar system, about 390 light years from Earth. So I want to bring in CBS News senior national correspondent Mark Strassman to talk a little bit more about this. I know, Mark, you're working on a whole other story, but we thought we'd nab you because you're so good with our uh, space coverage. Can you explain what we're seeing in these new images? Yeah, I mean, look, for the last year, as you know, uh, Webb has just produced this unprecedented cosmic slideshow, and this, these images are just the latest examples of that. So this... This is a, the nearest uh, star-forming region to us, as you mentioned, about 390 light years away. And, and the interesting thing about this is that uh, we sort of have uh, an unobscured uh, view of about 50 stars that are about the same size or maybe a little smaller than our own sun. And so it's an interesting uh, glimpse in, as we look at this, uh, this star-forming region into the, sort of the life cycle of our own sun and, and how, how it has matured. Mm -hmm. And for scientists, it's just another uh, example of the unprecedented way in which uh, Webb is sort of redefining our, unde uh, our understanding of the cosmos. And, and, and look, you don't have to be a, a, a total space geek to appreciate this. I mean, you can just be the most casual uh, stargazer and understand that like th these images and what they represent and what scientists are learning from these images is, uh, has all been just transformative. Yeah, it, it really is. So when I was reading about the Webb Telescope, what I learned actually just today is that it's picking up, <coughs> and you correct me if I'm wrong, uh, mid-infrared spectrum. So this is the sort of stuff that yeah, inf our, our yeah, eye can't see. I can't see it, infrared imagery, which produces I images that, you know, no other telescope that's out there can, can, can produce. Mm -hmm. I mean, think of it this way. So uh, the web is a million miles from, uh, from the Earth's uh, orbit around the sun. Uh, if you think of the universe as about 14 billion years old, uh, the, the web is able to look at the, the, uh, the, the, the youngest stars, the youngest galaxies, uh, that, 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 that came into existence about 400 million years after the Big Bang. So, so think of it this way, Emory. Uh, we're looking at baby pictures of the universe, mm -hmm. okay? And, I mean, who doesn't love baby pictures, right? <laughs> so we're looking at baby pictures of the universe, and, and we're getting an understanding from these images of, of just, like, the deepest questions of all, like, well, how did all this happen? Where did all this begin? Uh, and the, the images have been majestic. Uh, they've been humbling, mm -hmm. um, and, and as I say, a transformative. I mean, something for, for, uh, for true sp space scientists uh, to study, to learn, to share with us, and to give us a greater sense of not only how the universe uh, came into being, but our own place in this universe, and of course, uh, all the deep questions that go with that. All I keep thinking well. is about a line from that old song, you must have been a beautiful baby because baby, look at you now, because the <laughs> universe is absolutely yeah. gorgeous. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what we're talking about. You got it. Mark, thank you so much.